morning and welcome back to my channel so today is monday it is like super rainy outside so i started off the morning with my coffee i watched the first reunion of southern charm i have to like catch up on all my shows i've been putting it off for a while but i thought today would be the perfect day because it's just gross out um so i had a few errands to run um as you can tell i'm already dressed um i didn't film just because like it's like crazy outside today like the weather is so gross and just filming just like i just carrying too much and i couldn't film so i did go to target and the post office post office was not exciting so you guys didn't miss anything um but i did go to target because like i said in a previous vlog i did want to get pumpkin spice creamer and I cannot find it anywhere. So I went to Target thinking that I would have luck finding it. Did not. So I did end up getting a pumpkin spice creamer. It actually is the same brand that I picked up for the caramel creamer. It's the Chobani brand. Um, not like a huge fan of it, but this was literally like the only pumpkin spice they had like on the shelf so i just think everyone is just going and grabbing pumpkin spice and like every time i go there's like nothing left so i did pick up that i will show you that and i did pick up another one of these wild fable um cropped uh, t-shirts i have most of them in a size small but the black one i have is in a size medium and it's just like super big on me and I wanted something a little more form-fitting just because I like the way the small fits on me better than the medium. Um, it's also like, it gives a good like separation between the crop top and the leggings. Like I feel like the size medium was just like right on top of the leggings and it didn't show any of your skin. So it just looked like you were like this one big like stick. <laughs> Um, so I wanted kind of that separation. I also picked up a new book. So this is Every Summer After and I have it on my Kindle, but it literally like expired and I had to give it back before I even had the chance to read it. And now it's on hold again because somebody else is reading it and there's just like a long wait list to even read this book so i went into the book section just like browsing honestly i didn't think they would have this book um i was going to pick up like another colleen hoover book but i did see this and i wanted to read it on my kindle and you know i can't so obviously I wanted to pick this up and i saw that it was 20 percent off and then another five percent off if you have the red card so i was like this is amazing it was literally like 12 dollars so definitely go to target because most of the books that i did see there were 20 percent off i wanted to get a few more books but i was just like you know what if i need another one i will go back to target and get one plus i go back to new york next week so i don't know like if I'll finish it by then or if I will like it's just like too much so I'm going to just read this and whenever I finish I can decide whether I want to go back to Target and pick up another book so this is the Wild Fable crop top and I got it in the size small I honestly love these they're literally five dollars and they fit so well and the material is just so good like i fully stand by these like i just love them they're good for every day they're good for dressing up an outfit like you could do so much with this it's so versatile and it's just such a good crop top like i'm obsessed with it i love the coloring too it's not like a faded black it's like good quality and i have them in so many different colors i have it black white like a teal blue and then like an army green i'm obsessed with them i find that sometimes crop tops are like ridiculously expensive for like no reason um so that is a really good deal five dollars you cannot go wrong also 
yes, I do have a, another Yankee hat on. So, long story short with this one, I've been looking for this color in a Yankee hat for the longest time. And I have always seen it in like the LA Dodgers, like style and nothing ever in the Yankees. So I did go to the mall the other day with my boyfriend and we saw this exact one except the back was like a velcro like adjustable strap and i hate velcro adjustable straps this one is just like the classic baseball cap adjustable strap has like the little metal piece and those are my favorite like i hate like the snap-ons i hate the velcro i love just like the simple metal band i don't know what it is it's just it just looks better and um i find that like the velcro like obviously it's kind of like eventually not velcro anymore so like this is just worth the money so this i found on amazon and i'm gonna link it below because i was shocked when i found it so i will link it below in case you guys want the blue yankee hat i am a huge yankee fan i just not only wear it for the style just because i'm a huge fan um but i love the style too like it is so good like the white classic logo and they make so many different colors that like you cannot have enough of yankee hats like i feel like they just go with every outfit the logo is so nice like they're just it's just so good i am selling a few of them over on my makari just because i had bought them but i don't wear these colors as often as i thought i would um i wear more of the other ones a lot often and i wanted to kind of just go back to like neutral colors so i have a maroon a yellow and then like white the white was fine and i was really like contemplating on selling it but underneath the rim is like tie-dye and i'm just out of that phase like i don't know it's just not for me anymore so i do have those up on my makari if you do want to check those out i also recommend going on polberg because they have a ton of different teams a ton of different colors I actually got this one in like a brown color kind of like the san diego dodgers color but they actually had it in the yankee hat and i'm so excited because it's like a chocolate brown and i feel like i wear so much brown that like it's going to be perfect with every outfit so i'm excited for that and then after that i'm done buying yankee hats because i have way too many and i need to stop myself so uh yeah i'm gonna show you guys the um chobani creamer first i want to show you my outfit so obviously yankee hat is amazon i have on my lululemon belt bag my wild fable crop top this is my leather jacket from shein these are the leggings from Amazon. And then I just have on my Yeezys. I tried to pair like my hat with my shoes just to kind of give like a little bit of pop of color to the outfit. So I thought that would be cute, even though the blues are like two different colored blues. I don't know, I thought it would be cute together. So this is the coffee creamer. It's the pumpkin spice. I am super excited to try it. The caramel one is really good, so hopefully this one will taste just as good. This one was only like $4 too, so such a good deal because it's like a huge size of creamer. The caramel one I think I got is like a little bit smaller. I think it was like the same price, so definitely get your creamers at target so right now it's 10 30 and i'm just gonna make myself some breakfast because i haven't eaten today i will probably watch the second part of the reunion of southern charm while i eat and then i want to head down to the gym i need to get back into like a routine because there's some days where like i miss going to the gym and i just don't feel good about myself so I uh, definitely want to get back into that and then I plan on just probably reading for the rest of the day. Honestly, I'm really excited to get into that 
book so i will take you guys along with me for the rest of the day Not Welcome to Tuesday's day in my life. So today I did not vlog at all this morning. Um, I just had like a lot going on and that I needed to get done. And I made some breakfast for my boyfriend and I because he had to go to work. So I got up early and did that. I read a chapter of Every Summer After. I'm loving it so far. It's so good. Um, I also don't know if I did like a check-in with It Starts With Us, but it is so good. Like you really need to go out and get it. If you don't have it, you need to read it because I don't know, even after this book, like I just need more of Atlas and Lily. I think it's so good and I could just keep reading on and on about their lives for a really long time. Um, also like just so happy that they're together. Like they needed to be together. I also just got my nails done. Like I've said in previous vlogs, I don't like dark nail polish. It's just so hard for me to, I guess, visualize it on my nails and then like seeing it on my nails. Like I just, I don't know, I've never been a fan of it. I've always been just like, like a light color, neutral person. So I think this is like the darkest I will go for fall, but I still think it's really cute. Like even the girl that did my nails she was like I'm obsessed with this color like I'm gonna even do my own nails this color so I um, thought that was pretty cool um and also I got it off Pinterest so I will try to link the Pinterest um um picture that I pulled it from because it's really close she did a really good job of like trying to match the color so if I can I will try and to link below um, the Pinterest picture that I used. Um, I don't know the exact uh, powder color she used, but I will do my best to link that below for you guys. Um, I just picked up a Starbucks and I'm excited because normally I don't get Starbucks. I've been just drinking like iced coffee at home, but when I'm out, I feel like it's just like why not let's get starbucks oh also i did get my toes done and i did go for a dark color on my toes just because they're not going to be out no one's going to see them and i was kind of getting tired of looking at the white i just feel like white's just for summer i could do dark colors on my toes i just cannot do them on my nails because i see them all the time um i think that's the difference like if i was wearing socks like i don't really see it on my toes as much so i can get away with it um i did plan on reading while i was at the nail salon but that didn't happen because they did my toes and nails at the same time which i was grateful for because i spent way less time there um i also just picked up some sushi that i'm so excited about well not actually sushi but like a poke bowl so i'm super excited to eat that but first i want to head to the gym because during this time at the gym it's like super quiet there so this is like the best time that i find um to go and i probably will go later on uh tonight because we usually like going at night just because no one's in there again so i can use like all the equipment that i don't get to use during the day if i don't get to it and yesterday i literally did nothing but binge watch all of my shows <laughs> and i got through all of them i just have to catch up on the housewives of beverly hills reunion and then we made some dinner. I made some penne um, alfredo with chicken. It was so good. And then, of course, we watched football, Monday Night Football. And then we went to the gym. So I am going to go in and change and get ready for the gym, do that. And then I'm going to try to get in like a decent workout. Whatever I can't do now, I will do later. And then I'm excited to eat my poke bowl. So I just 
got back from the gym why wow, i look a mess i have my coffee it's literally like my second coffee of the day lately i've been having two coffees a day because i just find that it's so hard to just get through a whole day without having two cups of coffee so yeah my workout was good i did uh two miles of like sprinting and i kind of want to get up to like three miles a day so i'm trying to do two miles in the morning and then a mile at night um it actually rained like all day yesterday so i didn't have a chance to get out and go for a walk but i think after i eat some lunch and shower i'm gonna just like take a walk and just kind of get some fresh air um we have like a nice area to walk around uh near my apartment so i would definitely take you guys along with me so this is the poke bowl that i got so i get brown rice cucumbers um cilantro crab meat avocado um salmon spicy tuna and then um the dressing is spicy mayo it is so good you have to get this combo you will never get anything else because it's just that good i want to share with you guys that i did pick up some more swiffer pads so these are the swiffer wet jet pads and there are 24 mopping pads that come in this package so i was trying to like compare prices from like amazon and target so this is like the, one of the cheaper um ones that i found for the 24 count which was so good it was 12 dollars, probably closer to 13 with like tax and all that but for 13 dollars, you get 24 pads and these last me a really long time so i think i mentioned just in a previous vlog where i was just tired of the green swiffer um it's good for small areas like, but when you're in a bigger space like an apartment or a house it's just not it's not good for it um you literally do like a small area and that's all you can do you have to just like get another pad so with this i just love how you just spray and go like it's so convenient so nice i will link this um specific um set down below for you guys so if you want to go purchase these you can i'm not sure if they're still doing the deal but i would definitely just go check anyways because you never know i wanted to share with you guys this dress because i am working with a brand it is called the mila boutique and it's here in texas but i just wanted to show you the dress because i do have a code for you guys um this is the dress it's just like a beautiful long knit v-neck dress with a tie around the waist i thought it would be really cute for the fall and winter maybe dress it up with some shorter booties and just like a fedora i thought that would be really cute paired together i did get it in a size small just for sizing reference and all of their clothes are super affordable I do have a discount code for you guys so it is ash 20 and you guys will get 20 percent off your um any item that you do choose to purchase um definitely go and follow their instagram as well because they have a lot of different products on there and a lot of great fall finds i definitely want to go back on and purchase i think there was like this sharper jacket on there that i really wanted to get my hands on before it gets sold out so definitely go and use my code and pick up this dress if you like it i'm definitely going to show you guys what it looks like on so you just have a visual because it is very form-fitting um even though it's a knit it's a very form-fitting so i just wanted to share that with you guys in case um, you were wondering how it looks so i'm going to show that to you guys right now okay don't mind my hair it's wet i just took a shower um i wanted to show you guys this dress that i was just talking about and i absolutely love it i think it is so flattering i love how form-fitting it is it shows off all your curves in all the right places um i just have it paired with my shein booties 
and a black fedora hat so you could dress this honestly any way that you like but i wanted to do an all black look with like a pop of color um not really sure i'm liking how it's cutting off my legs at the bottom so i might wear a different shoe um or maybe i could like pull the dress up a little bit i don't know kind of loses that fall look i liked the longer look of the dress personally um but yeah like that's the back it looks so good it has a little tie here sorry my mirror is like super dirty but like it has a little tie here you could tie it in front i did it on the side just because i kind of like that look more than in the middle but i love this dress it is so flattering it is so warm it is perfect for like a night out um, i'm gonna show you what it looks like with um black heels instead i think that might look better okay so i think i'm definitely liking the black heels better it just like all flows together so now if you wanted to put maybe like a pop of color into your outfit you can change out your hat okay so now i have on a brown hat and i think that looks cute too just to like bring out the color um, since you're wearing all black i really like this honestly it looks a lot better in person than in the camera which is most likely the case <laughs> all the time but um i really like the way that it just fits on my body it just shows every curve and i just really i don't know i really like it so if you guys are interested in this dress go and grab it with my code ash20 and get yourself 20 percent off this beautiful dress so i also thought it would be really cute to just dress it down with a pair of sneakers so i think this looks really cute with sneakers too you can put on this vest too to kind of dress it down a little bit more with the sneakers i think this looks so cute paired together and i think it's just like the perfect fall outfit like every day or if you wanted to wear it out you could just dress it up with the heels and the hat or just the heels alone i think it looks so good it's so versatile okay so i want to take a walk i just feel like i need some fresh air and i want to try to incorporate going for walks a lot more during the day because it is now a lot cooler out in texas so i'm just gonna do like a little walk around the neighborhood and then come back and probably do some editing and i want to um, get to reading a few chapters in my book because i've been putting it off <laughs> for a little bit uh today so i want to get to that but yeah, I will take you guys along with me for my walk. So I just came back from my walk. It was so nice just to get outside and get some fresh air. So I changed back into the clothes I was wearing earlier today just because I feel like the most comfortable in them. I'm going to read some of this book and get into it. And I'm going to do that while I am uploading all of my content for you guys and i should have a video posted today i'm sorry i'm a day late i know i usually post every monday wednesday and friday but you know life just happens and things get in the way so i wasn't able to do that but i will definitely have it up by tonight for you guys so i'm probably going to spend the rest of the day editing and then making some dinner, hopefully getting back to the gym um, and doing like the weight portion of my workout. So um, I was trying to like work out 
and do like a run in the mornings and at night but just because today i had the extra time to do three miles in the day i'm gonna just try to work out the um with the equipment later tonight so i'll show you guys what i usually do for a normal workout i'm trying to just stick to um losing weight before toning anything um i try to do like 100 crunches a day and then i really just do mainly like booty workouts i don't really get into like the arms and all that just because like i don't want to be muscular i just want to be toned if that makes sense so yeah i will show you guys tonight the routine because usually there's no one in there so i can most likely film if there is people in there I probably won't be able to film just because it's such a small gym there's like not a lot of places to like leave my phone where you can see me if someone else is using the equipment they'll probably be walking like back and forth so it'll just be a little hectic to film but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and it's just like two days in my life to just try to catch you guys up on like what I've been doing what's been going on so hopefully I have some more content coming to you guys soon mm -hmm.